All right, just an injury update. Um, so Crowder, he won't participate with the hamstring. Um, Frank, today will be his day off, so he won't be out there. Or he'll be out there, but he won't practice. Uh, Connor McGovern, hamstring, won't practice. McClendon, uh, he has to do kind of get through the the COVID testing with, you know, he was he was gone uh, and miss a miss a day, so we've got to go through kind of the that pr procedure. Um, Perryman uh, won't practice with the ankle. Uh, Quincy Wilson, he's he will not participate today. Still in the concussion protocol. And then two additions, Ashton Davis won't participate. He has a groin. And then George Fant won't participate. He He's in the concussion protocol now. Uh, limited will be Balage, Beckton, uh, Hogan, um, P. Ryan, and Nate Hairston. So those guys will be out there. They'll just be limited. So with that. Adam, with um... – with Crowder uh, still not practicing today, is it is it safe to say he's probably not going to go on Sunday, or you, you still have hope for that? Yeah, I mean, you can common sense it if you want. I mean, I'm just not going to close the door on him if for some reason he feels like he's feeling a lot better in the next two days. But, I mean, I would say it's doubtful. Adam, what happened with Vant? Was that yesterday? Yep. What? How did that happen? Just we're in a team period, and I don't know. He, he had a, it wasn't. I don't. I, don't, I didn't. I mean, I think it's a, a play that he was backside, and and the linebacker came downhill, and I don't know. He just kind of they collided, and you know they took him in and evaluated him, and said he was in the concussion protocol. So. Uh, Chuma would be the uh, <laughs> seemingly be the obvious replacement there. Right. Yep. Adam, do you feel at all like here we go again after all the injury stuff you had last year, and now you're you're going to this game potentially without your top three wide receivers, missing two offensive linemen? No, I mean it's just right now it's you know I, I think I, if I would look at it as we're the only team going through this. It'd be one thing, but I mean, when you look around the league, you're you're seeing, you know, guys going down left and right, whether it be in practice or games, and you know, we're having soft tissue things happen to us. Or it seems like a lot of some other guys are going through of like major, major season-ending type injuries. Um, you know, you're just hoping for that. This is one of those things of we're either not hardened up enough, you know, just because we. You know, we played two games. We didn't have a preseason. You know, maybe maybe that's part of the reason why. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but we're just trying to find, you know, we're taking everything, all the information we get, and, and we're trying to do different things to, to prevent soft tissue injuries. You know, it's just – right now it just seems like we're, we're having one every week and, you know, or, in, or we're having a couple in a game. So, you know, we're going to keep working and try to find the answer to it. With McGovern, you've kind of said he's remained optimistic where he thinks he can play, he thinks he can practice. Um, has he been making progress where your belief is going to align with his soon? Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of – if I once I see him move around a little bit, you know, it's it's right now I think he's just trying to – I think it's just such a different position for him to be in. I mean, he's a veteran player that, that you know, he can get a lot of work done just with his, with his eyes, you know, and, and able to apply it without – actually going through a lot of practice reps. So, you know, really to me, it's about his movement skills. You know, where, where is he at on that? Um, you know, I, he might have to be an emergency guy. I mean, we just got to kind of see how this all plays out. And what kind of roster gymnastics do you guys have to do for a time? We're, we're, we're going through, we're going through a lot of different uh, situations right now. Um, you know, there's some of these, some of these, when these happen aren't ideal, not, not great timing. Um, but Joe and Joe and the guys are trying to trying to work through all that, just make sure we got everything kind of straightened out. I mean, we got a couple of days here before, you know, we really got to have things locked in. So, you know, we'll see how the next two days go. And, and usually by Friday we have, a, you know, we know all the moves we need to make or, you know, 
our, all our coordinators know, here's our options and here's what the possibilities are. And then we just got to figure it out. Now that flat goes back to full. Is he your two on Sunday? I will see, um, see how he's, how he's, you know, finishes the week out. Um, it's kind of more of a discussion between himself and, and me and Joe and just kind of see where he's at. If he feels like, you know, is this the game? Is it the next one? So we'll, we'll just, just communicate with him and, and talk through things with him and then make a decision. Adam, what are the challenges facing this defense? I mean, they've been the best in the league so far. And, you know, obviously we've been talking about your situation on offense. Yeah. I mean, these guys, uh, you know, they haven't had to play a lot of plays. I think their offense has done a good job of holding on the ball and they've done a good job of getting off the field. Um, I think Jacksonville had a couple, couple shorter, shorter fields that, you know, they were able to turn into touchdowns, but these guys are, you know, they're, they're problematic. I mean, they're, they're really good up front and, you know, their live mat linebacking core is as fast as probably we're going to play. And, these guys, they know their defense. They, I mean, this feels like it's a pretty close to the same group that we, you know, I was at, I went against in 2018. Um, they've added a few new pieces, but for the most part, a lot of the same guys, the big time guys. I, I think adding uh, Buckner really, I mean, makes that front dangerous. And, you know, I know they had a big injury last week with losing uh, Hooker. And, but it seems like that whole secondary, they do a good job of playing what they asked them to play. It's, what's their offense look like with Philip Rivers? I mean, for for years you're used to seeing Rivers in, in the, other, the other uniform. What's what's he look like in that offense? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 weird. I mean, this will be the seventeenth time that I've gone against them. Um, just, but it, it's just, it's you know, it's Philip Rivers, man. I mean, he looks he looks the same. He does a good job. He works at the line of scrimmage. Get those guys out of in and out of you know plays and checks and he knows how to use cadence and he knows how to get the defense to sit there. He'll use the whole clock. He'll hold on to the ball forever. Um, you know, it's, he's, a, he's always tough to go against because he can do so much before the ball snapped. Uh, he can cause some problems with, you know, the defense making mistakes with, with neutral zone infractions and offsides and take advantage of those. And then at the same time, he can get you to show you what he's doing, what you're doing on defense. Um, and then he gets the ball out really quick. Um, that hasn't really changed. You know, it's just a matter of time, I'm sure, where they get to the point where he kind of was doing what he did in San Diego and L.A. where, you know, when he took his shots and pulled on the ball and, and pushing the ball down the field. I mean, he's had a couple opportunities that haven't really, you know, worked out where, you know, he had a, a chance for a big play and had a drop. But, I mean, he's, he's operating well and, you know, you – you have to do a good job of trying to trying to get some negative plays in there and see if you can put them in some third and long situations. Adam, uh, Cager was a guy that, that kind of flashed early in training camp, and then he had that injury. With, with these issues you guys have had at receiver, is he close to being somebody that you could count on on in a, in a regular season game, or is he still developing? No, I mean, that's, that's going to have to be – his development's going to have to quicken up, I guess. I mean, we're, we're, we're down to whoever's available. Whoever's got a pulse right now, we're, we're ready to go. We'll take a few more for Coach. Adam, what stands out about their, their rookie running back, Taylor? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously had a lot of carries over his career. He's doing a good job for them. He's protecting the football. He's getting the positive yards. You know, he gets those tough yards. Um, you know, he's doing a good job. They're, they're – I mean, they're they're getting the ball to the backs in both the passing game, run game. Um, he's he's working well when they're when they're not at the line of scrimmage and they're making changes at you know at, at the line of scrimmage. So, I mean, he he plays like a vet. It looks like to me. Adam, do you see with P. Ryan coming back? Do you see an opportunity for him to be a little more involved? Is he you know he hasn't gone through a full practice yet, but do you think he could be more involved? Yeah, yeah we're definitely we definitely. I feel like we got a good thought process heading into this game, you know, last game it was, you know, we were, it was, he was coming off of his injury, you know, Balazs was, you know, coming off of, you know, his hamstring deal. Uh, you know, we had Josh ready to go. 
And, you know, we kind of got through those, those, you know, we were thinking going two series with Frank and then, and then really get those other guys involved in that third series kind of got to a point in the game where, where, where Frank, you know, he made a good suggestion of, Hey, let me go one more. And we had a pretty good drive going. We just, we, we didn't, we didn't get it done there at the end. And then we were at halftime. Um, you know, we're hoping to kind of really spread the workload out a little more to where, you know, we can make sure we do a good job of getting, getting Frank through that, you know, entire game instead of kind of really burning him out in the first half. So, you know, I feel, I feel good about kind of the rotation that we're, we're talking about going through and, you know, it's just all about, Hey, if we can keep everybody available for the whole game, that's really what, what, what we want. Adam, how critical is it for you guys to get off to a quick start on both sides of the ball, just the way the first two games have gone and just to kind of have something to feel good about early in this game? Yeah, I mean, anytime that you can, whether it be score on your first drive or get a three and out on your first drive or at least just, you know, make a punt, um, that's, I mean, that's always ideal. It's, you know, you can't let can't let one, one drive affect you, though, for the entire game. I mean, this is just kind of this part of the NFL, man. It's it's nothing, nothing comes easy. You got to battle for every, every yard, every first down, every stop. So, I mean, whatever happens, we just got to keep battling through it. We got to get, you know, put ourselves in position when we hit the fourth quarter, you know, it's, you know, it's there for us either to win or lose.